It does seem very strange and optimistic to erect a pagan monument in London to celebrate the divine majesty of the sun. It makes more sense when you consider that this has always been a monument to authority and power. It was not Cleopatra, but Thutmose III, who erected a pair of obelisks in 1450 BC to flank the Grand Temple of the Sun in Heliopolis, the City of the Sun. The pharaoh was the son of Ra, the sun god, and so these pink granite obelisks symbolised the divine right of his authority. A few years before the birth of Christ, they were moved to Alexandria and erected outside the Caesareum, a temple which likewise proclaimed the power of the Roman Empire and its foothold in Egypt. The other obelisk is now in New York City, and this one came to London in a flurry of patriotic fervour. The French had already acquired an obelisk from Luxor and erected it in the Place de la Concorde in 1836, but it was another 40 years before this one went up. The obelisk would originally have been capped with electrum a gold and silver alloy, so it would have caught the first rays of sun while Egypt was still in darkness. The French recapped theirs in 1998, but of course theirs is the tallest thing in the Place de la Concorde, whereas in London the sun hits the clock tower of the Savoy Hotel first, which rather upstages the obelisk. But here it stands a monument to engineering prowess and imperial pride, two gods which have always been more popular among Londoners than the sun. But this obelisk of Heliopolis gazes down on London's oldest and most worshipped god, and we'll be meeting him in the next programme.